Well, Tom, it was a beautiful day and evening here in the Upper Peninsula. Yeah, definitely, especially as you go Marquette westward, we had sunshine, but we also got into some rain across the eastern UP. And I'll tell you what, we're not complaining if we get some rain because we'll definitely take rain across Upper Michigan. But this evening, just beautiful sky colors. And I want to take you through a time lapse here. This is the NMU webcam looking towards downtown Marquette. And this morning, bright, beautiful sunshine, but we've had we had clouds come in from unus an unusual direction. Tough to say that, but they were actually coming in from the east today, not so much the west. And as we move through the afternoon hours, you can see we clouded on up. A few rain showers, but for the most part, we stayed dry in the Marquette area. And then watch what happened as we went into the evening hours. Just beautiful sky conditions. And we'll talk about that in our 906 Weather Watchers photos here in just a second. But this is the overall weather pattern here. Reason why we're in and out of the clouds, the rain showers, just a slow moving storm system lifting up from Michigan's thumb into northern Ontario moving across Lake Huron. Some of us are in the clouds, some of us are not, and some of us are in between, and that's what made for spectacular weather photos this evening. As we look at our 906 Weather Watchers photos, want to start you out with Brett Papillon. You can see behind the rain, a beautiful rainbow out there. Thanks, Brett, for sending that in. And then our very own Haley Schoengard sent this one in here. And this was right outside here of Local 3. Some of the colors here were just absolutely amazing tonight in the sky. Front end of WJMN Local 3 there. Just beautiful sky color. American flag there in the distance as well. And then as we go down here just a little bit, John French from Ishpeme sent this in. Just beautiful there. Just you know, beautiful colors here, not so much in the trees, but definitely in the sky with the sun setting and banking off the back edge of the clouds there. Just beautiful there. And then one more, I think we got from Bonnie V here. Oh, let's go to Nina Graff here. She saw the same thing we did here in Marquette in Mass City. And then one more one, Bonnie V here, um, same deal pink sky, but the pink colors were also reflecting off her inland lake there. So thank you to our 906 Weather Watchers photos for sending those photos in. Feel free to join us on Facebook. We're almost the 400 members. We're four shy. Wow. So <laughs> head on over to Facebook, search and check out our 906 Weather Watchers page and feel free to join. Fire up Max 1 here, Local 3 Radar Network. We do have some rain showers, some of this not reaching the ground, but we do have some remaining rain showers across the south central portion of Lake Superior and eastern Lake Superior, and it's all part of that storm system I was showing you on our visible satellite. Eventually these rain showers are kind of going to stop and start to go eastward along with that storm system as it moves up into northern Ontario and Quebec. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s, but where we've cleared out just a little bit, temperatures in parts of the western UP are already down to the 40 degree mark. High temperatures today, chillier across the eastern UP where we saw the rain, but warmer across the west where we saw a mostly sunny day. 68 for Houghton and 60 56 for Ironwood. 58 today's high officially at the Weather Service in the Ghani Township. 43 today's low. Downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard. 57 and 49 were the numbers. So here's the rain right now. It's going to try to move west, but then eventually it's going east here. We'll have some clearing lows tonight. Some 30s in the interior west. Around 50 though, the, the immediate shorelines of the Great Lakes. Tomorrow, Finally, weather is coming from the usual direction from the west. Out ahead of this next storm system, we warm up into the 60s and 70s, but we are looking at rain tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Heads up if you're going to the high school football games. It could get wet. And then as we go into Saturday, we're looking at clouds, some rain showers, and also some wind tomorrow and also Saturday. But Saturday, definitely going to feel like autumn around here with highs in the 50s and 60s. Here's your extended forecast for your UP community. Marquette, Marquette County, tomorrow we're looking at temperatures around 70, but a cooler day for Saturday, 60s for Sunday. For the eastern UP, we'll see temperatures around 70 for Friday with a late day rain chance. Cooler for Saturday, back into the 60s we go for Sunday. For Delta County and Escanaba, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s for Friday, but we're in the 60s for Saturday and Sunday. And then as we go into the interior west, we'll see temperatures around 70 for Friday, around 60 for Saturday, 60s as we go into the daytime on Sunday. And then as we go into the Keweenaw Peninsula, we'll see rain showers warmer with some wind, highs around 70, but back into the 50s we go for Saturday, 60s for Sunday. 